hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you this type of photo editing that means i got the picture that means i took the picture with the sony a7 III with the 70 to 200 g master lens and after editing that i made this one so let's jump into the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so I got this image in a natural light uh, that is the gym in Dhaka city. This is Arifur Rahman uh, who is the fourth time champion of Mr. Bangladesh and I got him uh, for the shoot and I didn't use any kind of uh, extra light like flash or speed light whatever it is. I used uh, only natural light and uh, when I was shooting my photographs the time was uh, 10 a.m. to uh, 11 30 a.m. actually and that light was coming from this right side and the window was uh, the right side actually and uh, i told him to sit down over here and i got this type of light which is a little bit warmy uh, that is the ambient tone but i want to make this one rough and tough which is really uh, good and which is the really perfect uh, for this gym type or athlete type photographies so at first i'll make copy by pressing ctrl or command j this one is the backup layer that is the background and I'll edit the layer one and you can rename this one like uh, edit okay and after that go to the filter and camera filter I'm using the Photoshop 2021 and camera 13.0 and I'll provide the link in my video description for the download or you can update your version 13.0 of the camera filter which is a really new look so in this camera filter you are getting all the stuffs like new one in 13.0 and from the basic panel i'll change up all the stuffs exposure i'll make it up and contrast i'll make it a little bit up and highlight a little bit down white a little bit up and here i'll desaturate a little bit and texture and clarity i'll make it up like that and now i'll go to the vibrance and saturation saturation a little bit up and in this curve option i will work with that curve later and at first detail sharpening a little bit and noise reduction and noise reduction which is the color noise reduction and now color mixer which is the extremely important for you guys just because of i'll change up all the stuffs in this panel hue saturation luminance hue is the which color will be saturation percentage of the color luminance intensity of the color and now saturation of the orange color in a face and other portions i'll a little bit down and luminance i'll make it up so you're getting the glow in a face and in a whole body actually and red i'll make it up and now this uh t-shirt or you know, like this color i'll change and that is for hue in a green portion i'll change it up into orange and for that i'll increase the saturation of the green and the luminance of the green i'll make it a little bit down and for that the saturation orange a little bit up and here is the yellow portion i'll changing the yellow hue as well into orange type so you are getting the photo into this okay now i'll go to the color correction that is the color grading this is important for whole photographs in portion you are getting the shadow mid-tone and highlight in first of all the shadow i'm giving the saturation you know that the percentage of the color is saturation i'm giving little bit percentage and now i'll change the hue hue is which color will be in the photo so you have to pick up the color which color will be so in a uh, back portion i'll just giving the blue type which is like this that's good and now in a mid-tone mid-tone in a facey area which is the mid-tone and uh, giving saturation and changing up the mid-tone gradually which is perfect i think the yellowish tone is good for this and now the highlight in a highlight portion i'm providing some saturation and i'll changing up which color will be so i think that's good and now here is the luminance if you want you can change it up and the mid tone i'll increase a little bit that's good 
let's see the before and after you got the huge change and uh, in a basic portion i'll add some clarity and the texture and highlight uh, actually whites i'll giving the whites like that for that i'll provide the detail that is the noise reduction and now i'll work with the curve so locking up over here and adding some fig netting which is good and that's good and now in a color mixture i'll work with the blue actually in a background of portion here actually this portion and now i'll go to the calibration which is the three primary colors that is the red green and blue actually so if i work with the blue color i'm getting this type of look and the orange that is the green primary color and the red primary color so i want to make this one a little bit plus three green primary like this and like that so in a color grading you can work with uh, more of this so that's good in the shadow portion what color should be actually the blue portion here is the blue portion that's good so i'm happy with that and i'm making this one as a preset saving the settings and i'll provide you so i'm saving this up and hit the ok button and taking new blank layer after that i'll add the light at first so adding the light which is a little bit warm light uh, it could be the orange or yellow type and going to the brush before the brush from the keyboard and select once before that you have to change up the foreground and background color and press ctrl or command t and making it bigger like this so going to the screen mode okay that's good and taking another blank layer and i'm changing this one into red or orange type which is really deep color and press ctrl or command t making it more bigger or you can make it a little bit smaller change the blending mode into screen that's good and now i'll go to the tar and place embed options from here i'll embed the uh, like uh, which is a spark from this here i download the spark i'll provide you the spark in my video description so making the spark into rotation like this after placing the spark change the blending mode into screen and press ctrl or command t making it more bigger and place the position uh, where the spark not appearing in a face that's good and then just going to the filter and blur mode and add some motion blur from the blur gallery add some motion blur which should be a little bit uh, like a blur 61 percent and the motion should be like this and hit ok and now the before image was normal image and after you are getting this now i'm selecting all the stuffs making it the convert to smart object and now i will apply the preset or the filter from the nick collection you know nick collection is another plugins of the photoshop you can work amazingly in nick collection for your convenient so now going to the filter nick collection color effects pro 4 i'll provide you the download link in my video description for the nick collection you can just getting the stuffs from there notice could appear hit the ok button and now choose the filter from here so i'm using the c04 for these photographs and strength that is 10 percent and making it 17 actually and hit the ok button it will take time to load and provide you the final output actually and this one is a smart object that's why you can edit this one in future uh, by pressing here actually in this smart object portion and after that press ctrl or command j now i'll increase the crispiness and right press this one and restylize the layer after that here two layers actually one is the main layer which is the smart object and another wise is not smart object and i'm giving this one the rename sharpness so i'll make this one blending mode into overlay or hard light whatever it is but 
make sure that this one is not in a smart object so after that go to the filter and the other options and high pass options from here it will blend with the photographs and make sure that the value should be 3 to 5 and hit ok so i'm just showing you the difference between the before and after so before you are not getting the crispiness in a photo after adding the sharpness you are getting the crispiness in a photo so you are getting full packages which is really good for this actually this type of a uh, gym type photo should be rough and tough and uh, this is the uh, enthusiastic for all who are uh, in a gym partner or uh, like uh, those who are working out actually so hope that you learn a lot from this video the photo was like that actually the before one and after one everything like that i just provided you all the process in this video hope that you will be benefited for this video don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and if you have any kind of question query please do comment on my video comment section and if you need to get the resource files like the plugins and other stuffs and the preset as well please check out my video description until the next video i am asmi signing out today keep me in your prayers stay safe stay at home bye bye